case. Another update on the EV batteries. Um, I'm just charging these. I got these packs made. Well, this side's made. No, which side is made? This side's made. As you can see, I got them soldered together. And there was one pack that was at 3.3 .3, uh, volts, and the rest I had charged at 4.5 volts. So if I were to just connect it, it would be almost like a dead short between the cells. Um, and it could wreck the batteries. This one. Got my heavy duty um, ends on it. I still got to do it to this one actually. Those are not heavy duty enough. So this one I put some real beefy cables on. My soldering job is not pretty, but it's doing the job. And this that two runs of this. I believe this is 12 gauge, something like that. Anyways, it's gonna have two runs of 12 gauge. It's really only keeping these batteries in balance because when I put my main lead on, uh, it's gonna be a nice thick gauge of something across all the leads. But this is here, a 32 amp hour, no, 33 amp hour, uh, 4.2 volt cell. This is an 8S, or no, 8P1S. It's got eight cells in here. So, that's what I got going so far. Here's what they look like before I do any work to them, hardly. This is an 8.2 amp hour 4 volt cell, and that's a 33 amp hour uh, 4, volts, 4 volt cell. And yeah, just giving you guys a few updates as I build this pack. So, this one here is already at 12 volts. I'm going to leave that separate for another project. And then this is going to be a 12 volt pack, 12 volt pack, and then the re those, and those will be, uh, sorry, not 12 volt, that's a 4 volt pack. And then this and the rest of them should be 4 volts, 4 volts, and then I can make one big 33 amp hour uh, 12 volt pack. And the rest of the packs that I have in the garage, I'm going to save for another project that I'm uh, thinking of. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Afterwards, I might strap the uh, all these to a uh, 3000 watt inverter and see if I can run some heavy loads off of it. So I almost have my batteries balanced so I can make them into the packs. But in the meantime, what I did was I rebuilt my uh, solar one. It's a solar power, uh, panel, uh, charger and battery and inverter all in one package. This is what I got so far. That's the BMS. Gotta got leave everything open while testing right now. 12.1 volts. Battery's not fully charged, but I don't like to charge my lithium batteries too high just because. Uh, let's focus here. Uh, it la they last a lot longer this way. You can see there's a little display here. And that just tells me how much power that the solar panel is producing. And how much power, if I can clip this to, have this, so I can clip this to a battery or a car uh, battery while it's running. And this limits the current to, I think it's four or five amps. And uh, yeah, which will take a couple hours to charge this battery. This is 8.2 amp hour. Now I'm going to see it run my fridge, which has a bunch of crap on it. Anyways, let's take a look here. We got to pull this a little closer. go to watts. Took over 500 watts there for a second. But this ran it no problem. Where are the volts we're sitting at? 11.9 volts. Running the fridge. It says 55 watts but that's only like 50% power factor so it's really taking about 100 watts, so it's about 10 amps out of the battery, but it's not 10 amps continuous. So this would trickle charge about an amp into the batteries, amp and a half when it's sunny. And I'm gonna hook these leads up to something and and act like there was some solar power coming in and see how long it runs the fridge for. Hope you guys enjoy these updates.